War Thunder just released their planned BR changes for air, ground, and naval, and these things are massive. For tanks, everything that is currently 9.0 to 11.7 is now getting decompressed from 9.0 to 12.0. So basically anything at or above 9.0 right now is getting up tiered by 0.3 or 0.4. So any 9.0 is going to 9.3, any 9.3 is going to 9.7, any 10.0 is going to 10.3, 10.3 to 10.7, you get it. Additionally, DM33 is being added to the OF40 and Roycat MTDD. The M1 a1 clickbait and HC are getting the M829A2 shell. The Ariettes and the Merkavas are all getting their reloads reduced to 5 seconds. The M53 is being added to the 2PL. And the Leopard 2A4M is going to 11.7, making it one of the highest premiums in the game. Notably, the XM800T is going up to 8.0, and the Hova and the M163 are going down to 7.3. Finally, for ground, the APDS shell on the Fox is getting reworked, and the Florac Rad will now have VT1 missiles as default. As for aircraft, the J11 and the SC27 are now going down down to 13.0. So yes, that means like the F-16 AJ is going from 13.0 to 12.7. The only F-16s that aren't being moved are the ones with AMRAMs. Additionally, all the F-14s are going up by 0.3 or 0.4 in BR. The Phantoms are going down 0.3 in BR along with the MiG-21. The Sab 35 XS is going down to 11.0 now. The F-5s are going down in BR to 10.7. A lot of the Chinese and Russian strike aircraft are actually going up in BR by about 0.4. And probably one of the best changes by far is the fact that they're nerfing basically every single helicopter in the game that's above 10.3. Basically every helicopter in the game is going up a step. So any 10.3 is going to 10.7 and like any 11.7 is going to 12.0. So yes, that means the KA-50 is now considered an 11.3. As for naval, there's some very minor changes that probably aren't worth covering in this video just for time's sake. You can see the entire spreadsheet on the Gaijin forms. 